Yes, girl! <laughs> Did you get into this last episode of Housewives? Bitch, let me tell you something. My hair is very like <laughs> That old tight ass Mama Joyce wig. Lord, y'all, I'm in here hollering and I'm mad as hell because y'all know whatever I do, my Mama Joyce impressions, I actually do have a Bob Mama Joyce wig. And what's so funny about it is Candy actually gave me the wig. It was a wig that Gaucher made for Candy that Todd hated. And Candy let me have it. And that was my Mama Joyce wig. And I could not find it. But I found an old, another old tired ass dust ass wig that looked like some shit Mama Joyce would wear. I'm just playing Candy. I know we got a rule. I ain't supposed to talk about your mama. I'm just playing Mama Joyce wigs don't be dusty. They just be real Sally Beauty Supply. That's all. <laughs> They be real Walmart based, real Vivica Fox collection based. <laughs> yes, God. Her <laughs> oh, wigs be doing the mannequin challenge. <laughs> Stiff. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Lord, I don't know why I'm in here so buzzed, y'all. I'm not even drinking. I just mean some chum <laughs> fruit candies. But anyway, my hair is laid like. Mama Joyce wig. Let me tell y'all something. That Kenya more. Kenya. That Kenya ain't got no problem getting some shit started. Oh, trouble making ass half of. Let me tell you something. Kenya, how the hell you gonna sit up in the laser tag thing going to hell off of Oh, Sheree, and bring this lady mama into it. That shit. Let me tell you something. That's how you know a bitch is messy down to their bone marrow. Because you sat here reading this lady to your right, but <laughs> rolled out on this lady to the left by accident. You so fucking messy, you didn't even realize you was doing the shit. And Candy was about to punch the shit out you right on the side of your neck. Y'all, that shit was hilarious. I'm like, Kenya, you couldn't have been thinking because you honestly couldn't have thought that that joke would have went over well. And Candy is sitting right there. Everybody know, don't talk about Candy child, her man, or her mammy. Lord have mercy, Jesus, that thing tickled me. But I'm going to tell you something. I kept saying this about that goddamn Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore don't give a fuck about none of them hoes. Kenya Moore, these hoes, it's my co-workers. I only got to see them when I punch in to do my 45 minutes a day filming. And when I get off work, I go play with my real friends. Um, Velvet the dog and Matt the, <laughs> Matt the abuser. She gonna play with her real friends. She said, I don't give a fuck about these hoes. That's why she felt, you know, she felt that she could say whatever the hell she said about Mama Joyce so freely. Kenya knew what the fuck she was saying. She knew this shit was gonna go over well on TV. And she knew my ass was gonna be sitting there doing the video talking about my ass laying like Mama Joyce tired ass with. That shit right there was funny as hell. And I could honestly sit there and do a whole 45 minute rant on it, but I'm going to move right along. <sighs> Cynthia and Noelle. I guess, Cynthia, you and Leon have finally made a conscious choice that Noelle is old enough that she can kind of get some more playtime on the camera. And I actually like the girl. Cynthia uh, playing around with Noelle with the cargo bags and with the fashions or whatever, but you know... Uh, you know, it's people kids, and we got the rules about the can't say stuff about people kids. And I don't have anything negative to say other than the fact that you should have snatched that damn phone from Noelle's ass and threw it out damn side. And you should have rolled her ass a little harder about her feet. And get your damn ass up and do some work. You better scrunch your ass from Santa Monica Boulevard down to the Hollywood Walk of Fame holding these damn bags as much opportunity as I created for you. That's what I was expecting you to say, Cynthia, but I understand you going through a divorce so you can't piss off the one person you got left in your corner, which is Noel. Cynthia and Leon, I hate the fact that y'all didn't work out romantically, but I love the fact that y'all work out as friends because the, the, the energy, the chemistry, the way y'all co-parent, I just think so many people, black people in particular, need to see that. Going back to the laser tag right quick, is it me? Or is Lena hugs a fucking doorstop? Like, girl, at this point, what in the hell is she even here for? Okay, it was so awkward seeing her sit at the damn uh, uh, laser tag scene. Now, granted, I know... 
that that's probably when y'all first introduced her into the fall. And I'm sure throughout that whole scene, there was pieces that she said, and they probably been edited out. But my God, this is like the third time that we've been introduced to her on this show, and she served absolutely no purpose. Well, except for that one time when she took block ass to task about Rodney and Candy. And speaking of, I'm going to tell you, this dust ass wig making me touch on myself like an old person. Speaking of Riley and Candy and Mama Joyce and Block and Chris Kelly, I'm going to tell y'all one thing and one advantage that Candy and Cynthia have always had over everybody on in this reality TV game and NeNe Leaks to a certain degree. They've always brought their real life to the forefront. Thus, they never had to fake like so many other characters on so many other lip, uh I almost said love and hip hop. On so many other reality shows, case in point, you know, no tea, no shade, but the people on other reality shows that make up businesses out of nowhere. Yes, in this season, I'm starting a boa line. Uh, and I'm going to throw a boa fashion show, and then they going to come to my show and fight, and then you wonder why everybody calling this shit fake, because the shit that they got going on ain't really no shit that would happen in real life. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I know just from me being on the inside that it was not Candy's doing to have Block be a part of the show. But I'm going to take Block's ass the task real quick. I think it's some low down, fucked up ass shit for Block to step in the game at this point and basically try to capitalize off of something that Candy built. The relationship that Candy has to even have, you know, to be. In front of all these millions of people right now, something she built with the Housewives of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, and blocked for you, A, to have done what you've done in terms of not being there for Riley, not being there for Candy, so on and so forth, but then to now be like, oh, I see an opportunity, I can come in and be on this show and discuss, you know, being her baby daddy and being Riley's father. When at the end of the day, your intentions are not pure. You know what I'm saying? It's obvious that you're here to get whatever promo, fame, and subsequent check you and Rihanna Man can collect. <laughs> I just probably need Rihanna Man. <laughs> that shit was funny, but that's fucked up. And that's why, uh, let me tell you something. Mama Joyce, uh, Candy, Candy, put your hand on your hip and let your backbone slip. Candy, you need to get a bad ball like Mama Joyce said because she like me. She don't mind getting that shit started. Mama Joyce said, baby, um, listen, uh, here, I'm going to ask the questions that matter. Yes, when you coming over here to hang out, is you breaking the $50,000 check? Nigga, cut the check. The check. The shit. Check it. Cut the check. I love it. Mama Joyce is like, listen, it ain't got to be no back and forth between me and you. We ain't finna sit here and rehash the past. Where is the check? But I do understand to Candy's degree point, you know, she's worth so much. I don't need this, these little petty monthly payments, whatever they may be. You should have been there for my daughter. Now, the gossip blogs say this, and I don't know this to be fact. But since it's gossip and Candy's a public figure on a reality show, I think I should share it. The people say that Block was married and that Candy was carrying on a side chick affair with Block when he was married, and that is how Riley came about. Therefore, she deserves everything she got in terms of no support because you was fucking that lady husband and got pregnant. Now listen, I don't make the news, I just report it. That's what the people say. Y'all know I'm friends with Candy, but she ain't never talked to me about no man named Block that she knew before she knew me. I don't know if it's true or not, but you know, I, I'm, 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 I'm willing to lean on the side that there is some truth to it. And with that, you know, it does, to a degree, not justify, but it explains some of these circumstances. Because, listen, face it, I'm friends with females who have husbands and boyfriends who have stepped out and made babies outside of the relationship. And then the female has found out, and she has said to him, I don't give a fuck what you do. Yo, that, that bitch and her baby can't come to my house. I ain't made no money out of my house going over there to take care of that bitch baby. 
and no bill in my house better be go unpaid. And when you go visit that bitch, baby, don't take my kids over there. Right. Like, I've been in the presence of females who think like that. And y'all know these hood bitches do. I'm not saying that's what the case is. But, you know, yeah, we've seen that story before. Um, I'm curious to know how this is going to develop. I mean, at the point in which you let people in your business and you put it all on the TV, all kind of other shit are unraveling. And you can't, you know... Be mad about people having opinions on this shit because you put it out there for us to talk about. Uh, I'm trying to think what else went on on this episode. Fedra, uh, Cynthia in them high ass bags that don't nobody want. Them glasses. That's about it, y'all. I mean, you know, this shit is kind of getting real deep with the real, with the real housewives, real problems, and that's why it's good. Anyway, I right, listen. This shit is itching me, so I'm finna get my ass up off it. Oh, Sheree and Bob. Sheree and Bob really ain't have much going on. It was cute. I, uh, you know, yeah, I'll get on Sheree and Bob next episode. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye.